Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hello and welcome and if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with a ridiculously adorable sneak peek from Diamond Art Club. Thanks to Diamond Art Club for sending this over so I can share it with you guys. Hopefully this will help you make a decision on if this kit is one that you want to pick up. Diamond Art Club is doing a really adorable midweek release this week and it includes these chip and potato kits. I saw there are some inspector gadget kits and there might be something else too, I can't remember, but um, <clears throat> this is just a really adorable set of kits for if you are loving all things nostalgic or if you have a little one that enjoys working that enjoys you know these these fandoms like chip and potato that you can work on a kit with them so anyway um this kit along with these other midweek releases are coming out tomorrow which is wednesday august 2nd at i believe I believe it's 9.30 a.m. Pacific, but now my brain is telling me it might be 9 a.m. So I'm gonna point you down to the description box to, uh, and I'll put, a, I'll put it up on the screen too, uh, for what the actual release time is, but it's one general release time for everyone. There's not an early access for Diamond and Ruby tier rewards members. Anyway, what I have to share with you guys today, uh, the, this kit is actually called Chip and Potato. Some of the other ones from this, this Chip and Potato series have different names, but this one is actually just called Chip and Potato. It's so, they're so cute, oh my gosh. So this one's gonna be 31 by 17 inches or 78.7 by 42.8 centimeters. It's gonna have square shaped diamonds and it's gonna have everything included that we need. And then, uh, much like a lot of these fun licensing deals that Diamond Art Club has, there is some really cute and different than usual branding on the box. Here we've got information about the actual kit. Ooh, there's some our colors and special diamonds. On the back, there's some information about how to diamond paint and your kit contents. And then uh, there are socials here on the side. Uh, on a lot of their other regular kits, there's usually a QR code that tells you um, that you could save 10% off by scanning it. Not on this one, which is totally fine. You're gonna see some other discount codes. I'll also mention that if you're a first time buyer and thinking of making your first purchase, I have a 20% off discount code that you're welcome to use. That's just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. And thanks in advance if you use it. I may make a small commission, so don't feel obligated whatsoever. Um, you'll, like I said, you'll see some other codes here that I suggest taking advantage of. This did come with a little hook here on the top, which I feel like they usually do if they're also planning to potentially stock these in stores. But this one will be available on the Diamond Art Club website tomorrow. So we've got our um, all our kit contents there. And then the toolkit, I feel it is kind of wedged in there. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. It's a small box for a big toolkit. Okay, so here is our toolkit. Let's open it up and take a look. It's gonna have, like I said, all the tools that you need to do your diamond painting. And let's get all those out. That's it. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so first up, you guys, you're going to get a pen and squishy. The color on those are going to vary. I feel like more often than not, it just so happens that uh, they do match the color scheme of the kit, but it's random, you guys, or it's, you know, you can't count on that. You're also going to get a pair of tweezers. They are pointy, so do keep that cover on there. And then you're going to get some wax. It's going to come in this caddy, and there is a thin plastic film on the top of the wax that I just want to remind you to peel peel back before you try to load up your pen. Otherwise, it's not gonna, it's just not gonna load up. You're also going to get a couple of thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. And then you're gonna get a tray with a tray stopper as well, which is handy. And then we've got a bag of baggies if you wanna put your leftover diamonds into those once you cut open the diamonds that come with the kit. And then this is actually a cover minder. There's magnets on the back. If you slide the one off and put it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover, set that on top and it will hold back the plastic cover and look really adorable at the same time. And then we've got a roll of washi tape. And I have a video where I demo how I use washi tape and why. And that includes going around the edge of the drill field to cover up any glue that goes past the edge of those diamonds. Uh, it prevents dust and dirt from getting in there. I also use it to section off my canvas. The print on this will vary as well. So that's all of our toolkit contents. 
And then Diamond Art Club also includes this logbook sticker sheet. Um, I use it in my paper logbook once I've started working on a kit. I like that it has the original artwork and the, the name and whatnot. Some people put this on the box of the kit so it can help sort their stash more easily, or you can find something else cute and crafty to do with it. <laughs> Everything else is gonna be included in this bag here. And this kit, based on the dimensions and the look at the original artwork, is definitely gonna be more of kind of a, a banner style. So, oh, it's the side. Ooh, look at all that, that background, all that same lavender purple color. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Now this is, this isn't something that my kiddos are into, but gosh, it's adorable and I might have to look it up. So, uh, by the way, if you notice that your canvas is rolling up like this one is on the sides, don't fret, that happens sometimes with how it gets rolled up and packed inside the box. You can roll it backwards the opposite direction and that will help it lay flat pretty quickly. Diamond Art Clips canvases also have a self-flattening feature, so you can also just wait and it will lay flat on its own. Um, and since they use poured glue on their canvases, it is safe to roll it backwards like I just showed you. As far as what's included, we have a bag of diamonds that we will take a closer look at in just a bit. You're gonna get a pamphlet that has some helpful info in it. There's a thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about the kit contents, some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you. Here's a link, or sorry, a link to a beginner video. <laughs> the step-by-step -step instructions written out for you are on this page. And then a, um, some info about the VIP Facebook group once you have made your first purchase. That can be a handy resource and fun community to join. Then there's some info, uh, tips and tricks rather, written out for you and yet another discount code. And here's some info about their mobile app, which you get 20% off your first purchase through the app. So <clears throat> also included is this larger sticker sheet. And um, this has the title Chip and Potato by Wild Brain slash Chip and Potato. A spot to write your start and end date. Here is a better look at that adorable original artwork. That's so darn cute. And then here's the stats. And then over here we have a set of pre-cut sticker labels. Uh, so if you kit up your diamonds into storage containers or baggies, you can use these <coughs> labels and it's really handy. The color code system you see over here is the DMC color code system, which comes from the DMC brand of floss. Most diamond painting companies do use this system. In Diamond Art Club's numbering system though, anything under the number 150 is gonna be a special kind of diamond called an AB. So we have one of those in this kit. And then if you look at the end of your color list, sometimes you will see some colors that have a letter at the beginning and that denotes another kind of special diamond. Um, I think Z is usually either fairy dust or, <laughs> excuse me, iridescent diamonds. And I believe we saw in the box that they're gonna be fairy dust diamonds in this kit, but just 31 colors in total, not an overwhelming number of colors at all. Let me take you on a little tour of this canvas. So at the top, we've got their branding. Do it makes you sparkle, Diamond Art Club. The edges of the canvas are scalloped and finished. You're not gonna have to worry about any fraying, especially with those pokes there. The back on the canvas is really, really soft and plush to the touch. And the weight of the material is really sturdy and malleable and just feels really good to work on. It's really nice. And then we have a, a color code system, or color code, um, a legend over here at the top left. And then, like I mentioned earlier, they do use poured glue on their canvases. It actually has a little bit of sparkle to it, but it's really sticky and really enjoyable to work with because it holds the diamonds well, but also <clears throat> it's pretty forgiving if you need to adjust diamonds once they're down. You're gonna have another color list over here at the bottom right. And then bottom left, Here's a thumbnail of the original artwork and the title and the size, and then of course, copyright. So what this means is that the owner of the chip and potato IP, which is Wild Brain is that owner, has both given permission for the use of this artwork and is being compensated for it as well. There's a licensing agreement in place. And um, you know, art theft is really common in the crafting world. And so I'm all about supporting companies that are doing right by artists. So uh, down here at the bottom in the middle, we've got links to their socials and another discount code. And then here at the very bottom right, we have information about their lifetime warranty. So as long as you're the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty, which includes if you happen to run out of any diamonds or run into any issues with the canvas or the glue, contact customer support and they'll get you taken care of. 
So taking a look at the canvas, you guys, while this is a larger canvas, it is color blocking heaven. Color blocking heaven, like you, you rarely see. This is incredible. So color blocking is when you have um, sections that have a lot of the same color in a small area, and this has a lot of the same color in large areas. So this means that this tray is gonna be in, or sorry, this color is going to be in your tray for quite a bit longer, and you'll be able to use your multi-placer if you want to. I don't even know that this canvas is gonna have a good example of the opposite of color blocking, which is confetti. This is probably the closest we're gonna get though, is is parts of, is this chip or potato? Is the mouse chip or potato? Um, <clears throat> but color, uh, confetti is when you have more color changes in a small area. So maybe like in here a little bit, or maybe in here a little bit. And that's gonna take just a little bit longer. Um, this is not the best example, truly, but you're gonna be changing out the color in your tray a little bit more often and maybe single placing a little bit more. But <clears throat> truly the grand majority of this canvas is just pure color blocking. So in spite of the size, I think it's gonna work up really quickly and uh, it could be a really good practice canvas for multi-placing. This background color is all the same color, all the same lavender. And yeah, about every element of this canvas is color blocking heaven. I love it. I bet this would work up so quickly and be really, really little kid friendly. <clears throat> so this would be one that you could work on with, um, you know, a, a little one that's in your life, whether you're a parent, a grandparent or aunt or uncle, you know, anything, a cousin uh, or I don't know, teacher. <laughs> You name it. If you know a little one that loves chip and potato, uh, this would be a cute one to work on with them. So um, let's do a quick measurement and see if we're true to size. So left to right, we are at almost 79 centimeters and we're listed as 78.7. And then top to bottom, we're at almost 43 centimeters and we're listed as 42.8. So I'm calling that true to size. Now let's take a look at these diamonds. There is a sticker on there that matches with the canvas in case you store these separate from one another and outside the box. Or you know, in this kit's case, just look for all the lavender. <laughs> so uh, let's see how many bags of this background lavender color we have. So it's DMC 211, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 bags of this lavender color to 11. So we got that. <clears throat> and then I'm guessing this is on our, our doggo's fur here. So one, two, three, four bags of seven, three, nine, and then a bag of three, 10, and then some more browns. These are square shaped diamonds, like I mentioned, and diamond art club square shaped diamonds are really, really nice quality to work with. They're really shiny, they're really uniform in size and shape, and that's really important when it comes to square diamonds in particular. And especially for a newbie or a kiddo, um, square diamonds can be a little bit more of a challenge, but, but if they're nice quality, then that makes it easier to work with at least. And this last, oh, there's a couple of strands left, okay. We have this one here. Oh, you guys, here's our first special diamond color, 113. And this is actually an AB color. And AB stands for Aurora Borealis. And just like the Northern Lights have a really pretty iridescent color shift effect, so too does the iridescent coating on the tops of these diamonds. You can see it's really, really, really sparkly, even more so than regular diamonds are. And the areas that it's been charted, it's going to draw your eye to those areas. And pop and highlight really beautifully. So I'll be sure to show you where this color is gonna go. Right next to it, we have our second special drill color, Z726, and this is a fairy dust diamond. And if I zoom you in, you can see a little bit. There is a glitter coating on the tops of these diamonds that is subtle. It's definitely more subtle than the effect of the AB diamonds next to it with its iridescent coating. Uh, but these are really one of my favorite kinds of special diamonds that Diamond Art Club does. It's like someone just brushed some glitter powder on the tops of these. Beautiful shimmery effect. So we have that yellow color. And then some more browns and blues and pinks. And then our last strand here, we'll just have these little bits of these colors, including 
our second fairy dust color, which is, ooh, this is like a lime green. I haven't seen this fairy dust color before. That's fun. Z907. Love that. All right, and then we have some more neutrals and, and colors that we just have the littlest bit of going up to the end here. So we have the 1AB color and that we have the pink AB and then we have the yellow fairy dust and the green fairy dust. So I think this is gonna be pretty easy uh, given how everything is grouped, but let's see. Okay, so our green fairy dust, which was kind of a lime green, is these little accent marks over here on the right-hand side, these two, and then over here, these two lime green colors. That's our lime green fairy dust color. And then our yellow fairy dust is this star. And then this circle down here, which is just a tiny bit out of frame, this circle down here. And then this star and this circle over here, those are our yellow fairy dust. And actually the pants over here are yellow fairy dust as well. And then last but not least, our pink AB is there's a little bit right here, like just a little handful. It's not this whole pink mark, just a couple of spots right here. And then the inside of the mouse's ears are the number one, which is our pink AB color. So you're gonna have color blocking even when it comes to the special diamonds. So you guys, that is super adorable. Again, I think that this is a kit that would work up quickly if you wanna give it as a gift or work with a little one on it. Um, I think that this is gonna be really cute <laughs> and hopefully pretty easy to work on as well. Given the, the low number of colors and all the color blocking that's going on, it should feel really manageable. And I think it's gonna turn out so, 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 so cute. Diamond Art Club does this really clean and crisp rendering style that I feel like suits, especially cartoon type images like this, exceptionally well. And so I think it's gonna look adorable once it's done and absolutely something that you could hang in a kid's room as well. So anyway, just a quick reminder, the name of this piece is Chip and Potato. It's coming out tomorrow, which is Wednesday, August 2nd. And there's a whole lot of other cute releases that are coming out tomorrow as well. So be sure to set your alarms if you wanna to try to get your hands on any of them. Best of luck to you. Thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful in making your decision. And thanks to Diamond Art Club again for sending this over. And you guys, if you wanna stay up to date with my future diamond painting content, including um, finished uh, kit reviews and unboxings and tutorials, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you here. So anyway, have an amazing rest of your week. Happy shopping tomorrow. And I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.